Hi, it's Brandon here from BE Power Equipment, and today we're going to talk about what happens when your thermal relief valve starts to leak. All our power washers have a safety feature called a thermal relief valve, which as you can see, looks like this. The thermal relief valve, depending on the pump you have, will be located in different areas. When you engage the trigger on your gun, water will flow in from the garden hose into the low pressure side of the pump, into the high pressure side of the pump, into the high pressure line, through the gun, and out the tip. This causes for constant water circulation, which will help keep your pump cool. When you disengage the trigger on the gun, water will still flow in from the garden hose into the low pressure side of the pump, into the high pressure side of the pump, back down into the low pressure side of the pump, which is called bypass mode. Over a short period of time in bypass mode, the water temperature will rise. When it hits 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 54 degrees Celsius, the thermal relief valve on your pump will blow. It will either trickle water or in some cases even shoot out. What this allows for is for water to come in through your garden hose into the pump and keep the pump cool. At this point, you want to shut your unit off. Once you've had a chance to let the unit cool for a little while, you have an important decision to make. Are you going to do the repair on your own, or are you going to have the unit go to a certified BE Repair Depot to have them fix the unit for you? If you decide to do the repair on your own, you're going to need the following. A thermal relief valve, which can be purchased anywhere you can buy BE power products, a wrench, a heat gun and or a torch, and some medium strength thread lock. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your heat gun, you want to turn it on, and you want to heat up between the thermal relief valve and your pump until it's warm. Once you've had a chance to let it warm, the next step is just to grab the wrench, put the wrench on the safety valve like so, and start removing it. Once you have the relief valve removed, you want to grab the new relief valve, grab your medium strength thread lock, put a generous amount, not too much, not too little on there, and you want to reinstall it. Once you have the thermal relief valve reinstalled, you want to let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then you'll be good to go. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're having any more issues at all with your unit, please visit our webpage or contact our service line. My name is Brandon, and we'll see you next time.